All right, all right, okay, all right, okay. What's up, buddies? Welcome back to another episode of the First Owner RTG, aka the 6 p.m. RTG, aka is FIFA 23 out yet? No? Okay, cool. Um, sorry that maybe the face cam is a little bit dark. I, I don't have my studio light on, and it's kind of nice, I'm not gonna lie, not having a spotlight blaring into my eyeballs. Hopefully you guys are well. Hopefully you had a great weekend. A day off yesterday for me, so no uploads or anything like that, but twitch.tv slash nick2018. It's day one of the streams for the week. We stream Monday to Saturday from 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time or 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time until about 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which in UK hours is about 3 p.m. UK till about 2 a.m., 1 or 2 a.m. UK time every single day, Monday through Saturday. If you wanted to jump in and watch us play Gran Turismo, if you want to jump in and watch us do our FIFA content before you see it up on YouTube, or of course, if you want to watch our Tarkov grind, which we are pushing Kappa. For those of you guys that don't know what that is, it's like the end game meta uh, crate thing that you take into your uh, raids. So it's just a, it's a cool end game, near impossible thing to get, but something fun to aim towards, which I kind of wish FIFA had something like that as well. A very crazy grindy end game achievement I think would be very cool in FIFA. Nevertheless, we did get Lamella done. Obviously, he looks like a really, really cool card. Does he get into any of our teams? Maybe, maybe, maybe our La Liga squad, but just a cool card. You got to give EA some credit. The cards are cool. Maybe unoriginal, sure, but they are pretty cool. Now, being that it's Monday, we should have uh, upgrade packs. We've done a lot of League SBC grinding. We've done grinding in general, of course, to get... Oh, that's spicy. Bro. That's, I'm telling you right now, this, this card, I know he's in the Portuguese league. This card is going to be cracked. This card is going to be cracked. High, low, five, nine, nice and tiny, five star, five star. Dear God. I think you just give him a hawk, right? Holy mother. So good. Yeah, I don't know if Inception is still all about all the Portuguese players or not, but I'm sure he'd be happy about this. Definitely. Oh. So what would be the cost of this? 82 and an 84 as well. I mean, I know he's in a weak league, but there's a couple of good players in Liga Nos, and he's Portuguese, so he's pretty easy to link, and everybody has one or two icons. That's a... See... Uh, again, a lot of people would argue, but Nick Charisma gets a cool card every year. Sure, you can make that pessimistic argument if you want, but to me, this is all around a big W. I, I, I think Charisma's card is insane. He's super cheap. He'll be very, very good to fit into any team you have. I Okay, sure, if you've got a fucking special Neymar or an Mbappe and stuff like that, you might not be convinced to get a Ricardo Charisma, but at the end of the day, 5-star, five 5-star five is really, really, really cool. I, I, I like this a lot. And hold on a second. Just to confirm, this wasn't yesterday's thing, right? Was this today? Three days left. No, because Sergio Ramos was yesterday, right? Sergio Ramos is awesome too. I wish they gave him a five-star weak foot, but whatever. It is what it is. That's all. I, I, I like it, man. I struggle to find a negative there. I really do. I actually think all of the SBCs were, have been cool. Ndombele super overpriced. Declan Rice super overpriced. But they're still very cool cards. I mean, I, I think Sergio Ramos is overpriced too. But again... Okay, Sergio Ramos is very overpriced. Disgustingly overpriced. But a cool card. I, well, okay, maybe I take that part back about Sergio Ramos. Anyways, let's see what type of upgrade packs we got here, boys. Did they bring out peepees? What did they do? But we're going to try and do a prime icon roulette today. Year in review player pick. What the hell is this? Earn one of three players released exclusively through SBCs in FUT22. Up until team of the year. Did any of you guys do this? This seems like a scam. I mean, I, I've completed all the player SBCs, so why would I want them back? I wonder what the cost is. I haven't paid too much attention to this. Give me a second here. 85 rated and an inform and 70 chem is a scam, in my opinion. Uh, FUT20. Premium mixed player pack. Pretty terrible pack, obviously, but that's fine. Let's see what the cost is for, the, for today's swap token. 70 rated. Now, with this... I believe that means it'll probably have to be 72 or 73 rated, but that's not bad. League's minimum three players, same country max four. 
players from one club max three rare players six that's chill man i would be looking at your silvers right now definitely as always right focus on the positions left wing cam center mids don't worry about cdms and left mids and right mids and right wing backs try and get position sold for the exact position timmies are lazy they will pay 4k for a left wing they won't even pay 1000 for a left mid that would give them pretty much the same chem so just in knowing that make sure you list up your players and your items correctly if you're still running a poor man road to glory trying to make a bit of cash oh 82 to 88 is interesting as well for fodder i wonder what the cost of that is let me have a look at this real quick 81 plus peepees Two golds, five players. Huh. 25 chem as well. It, w has anyone done this? Has Nep done this grind at all? Grinded this into potentially icon packs and, and, and whatnot? Or no, has he not done that? Yeah, essentially it's a fodder SBC. Absolutely. You just turn crap from your club into, into, into 82 to 88 fodder. I wonder... Again, if you're still doing the PMRTG grind, that might not be bad. All right. Player picks. Let's see what we got here. Oof. That is a lot of cards. Five rares, too. 81 pluses. Okay. One, two, 30 chem. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Five rares. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll go over to the non-rares. We'll do a couple of these just to begin. Yeah, these are all just our bodge. I don't know how the, the chem is going to work. That's 14 chem. Okay. Um, this. That. Up to 21. 26. Um, seven, five. Okay, there's one. We'll do about five just to see. Just to see. 81 pluses feel like they could be good, but is it two picks or three? I didn't even really look. Let's two? One of two. Okay. What are we saying? Uh, it's not expensive to do, but I, I don't know if uh, two choices is ever going to be good. I think I'm probably only going to do about 25 a day of these, really. Because we, we, we just have so many packs to get through anyhow. That if we continuously do... It's, all, I mean, it's nine players, too, so something else to consider that's feels like this is a bit scammy i don't know i don't know what you guys think let's uh, let's do another one so here's another one how's gameplay nick i've been away from this game for a while now oh you must have been away i i've, I've quit fifa dude uh i do 6 p.m content and that's it i haven't played fifa in about two months maybe three months now we do 6 p.m content and that's it so i i couldn't even tell you how gameplay is bro i don't it's terrible but I, I suppose that would be the only answer I'd be able to give you. Is this is the worst thing ever. Do you think 82 to 88 is a better value? No, I don't think so. I think it's it's good, though. Maybe if you run out of rares, you use your gold non-rares in the 82 to 88 and then just use a couple of rare silvers to try and build up some fodder again. Whoops. Yeah, 83 plus guaranteed picks. Exactly. So garbage. One of two is just not worth it. Yeah, I think I agree with you guys. I think that just makes it completely pointless, really. That takes us to 21. That. That. No, that's. Yeah. Eight. Okay. 81 plus number three. It's so bad, I want to buy new nuts instead of FIFA 23. Oh, no. Have you been Hercules smashing your testes? You don't want to be doing that. Okay, Jorginho. So we've gotten 283s and an 85 so far. It's minimum gold. 
Is it minimum gold? Oh no, that this is minimum gold? I thought it said 70 rating. That sucks. Never mind. I thought we were eating the nuts. No, Zway eats the nuts. Then he puts raisins in it and then he eats them again. I've done five, got all 82s. Okay, so this is going to be our fourth. Alright, toss all those batches in there. This. Uh, Maddie, thank you, brother. Appreciate the 21 months, my man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Breaking burritos. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. Should be more than enough chem once I move some stuff around. Uh, it's DDC. Thanks, man. Love you too, bro. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Okay, that's number four. Thank you, Rico. Appreciate the 45 months, man. Thank you. Footballer, thank you as well. Appreciate it, guys. Let's wait, put some raisins in it first. Yeah. All right, number four. Hey, man. What the hell is this? This is trash. Okay, I'm going to do I'm going to do one more. We have so many packs to open too. So I I'm kind of torn. Do we do we craft 81 plus peepees? Do we do I'll probably do a mix of it all, really. We're getting up to the 78, so Don't Big SBCs are much better. I know, but you know but peepees, though. We're just degens, aren't we, at the end of the day? I mean, I could just sell Cancelo to fund it. Um... Right, guys? We could just, we could just sell Cancelo. That'd be totally fine. Uh, this is. Can I do try something a bit different. I don't think that changed anything. <laughs> I don't. I don't think that changed anything at all. I want to barf. Do do do. I think I need another rare. Finally got an 83. Let's go, dude. Congratulations, man. Amazing, amazing. Do 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 do. Okay. Number five, boys. Here we go. Cancelo could go down as the best left back ever, Loki. Probably should go down as the best dynamic card in the game, as in someone you can use everywhere. Man, what a... You guys saw that Odegaard, hey? I'm so jealous of everything Arsenal are doing right now, but in terms of their acquisitions, that Odegaard, for... What did they pay for Martin Odegaard from Real? How the hell did Real let him go for 40 million? 35 million or whatever Arsenal paid for him. That's got to be one of the deals of the of the decade, surely. Absolutely, surely. What a card. Right. Oh my god, by the way, me and Steph spent all night yesterday catching up on uh on Ozark. I think we got like one or two episodes left. Dude, I forgot how that show is just one big anxiety attack. It's too much, man. It's just too much. Um, let's go. Let's go. There's a buyback in his claws that Real get him back. No. Uh, from what I've seen, there is no buyback. Uh, I was actually just reading something that, uh, what's his name? Fabrizio Romano tweeted about and that, that there is no buyback. That, that that's false information. 
There's absolutely no buyback of being able to buy him back for half his price. That's no, that's not real. It's, uh, that is false information. Betty Valverde clear. I, I mean, okay, but I'm just, I'm just saying purely how good and effective Odegaard is in the, in the Prem. I, I gotta say, man, I didn't think he'd be anywhere near this, this lights out, but it's also why I obviously don't work for Arsenal in terms of acquisitions. <laughs> uh, this is why I just repeatedly die in Tarkov over and over again. And I'm not employed by Arsenal to, to, to pick up players for them. I'm not going to read the chat now that they're talking about Ozark because I can clearly see people do not have, cannot read the room properly and are literally spoiling things in the chat while trying to discuss Ozark. Amazing. Amazing. All right, number six. What? <laughs> These are ass. I'm going to do, I'm going to do seven. I'm going to do seven because seven's a lucky number. Then we're going to just rip some packs. Rip some packs and do our icon roulette, boys. This is ridiculous. Yeah, I don't know. So here's a question. I'm going to ask my Twitch chat once we're done this epi. YouTube, in the comments, if you bother to write anything in the comments other than you've fallen off, you suck, your channel sucks. If you want to write something other than that in the comments, that'd be great, number one. But number two, please let me know, would you do 25 of these player pick packs for tomorrow's epi? Or would you do... Um, 50 league SBC packs or to, you know 25 league SBC packs let me know what you what you would do in, in my position because I think these are trash but then again what what, what would you guys want to see out of this right are, are the 81 plus PP still going to be a better opportunity to get something good get something exciting I don't know I just don't know I just don't know my Twitch chat seems to have one answer, one thought process. Which is interesting, actually. I didn't think they would. Let's go. SBCs are always good because you constantly restock. True, true, true. True, true, true. Good lord, bro. What the fucking hell? Uh, I thought I had... Odegaard. I think we were talking about him, but we went with an Atletico 84 instead of Odegaard. Okay, we'll do 8. Okay, 8 is one of my favorite numbers. 4 and 8 are my two favorite numbers in the world. I kind of like 7 as well. But, let's do 8. Lucky number 8. Yeah, I mean, absolutely leave it to EA to ruin player pick packs, man. This is shocking. Um... one away can i do anything at all anything 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 am i missing anything very obvious i mean right mid to right wing sure cdm to center mid sure i don't really want to do that though Ding. Ah, C. I don't think a CD will help. Yam, Ham. Yam. Yikes. It's Pro League. Noah Lang might work. No Lang doesn't work. F. Oh, here we go. Do this. Do this. No, for God's sake. And do that. Wait. I thought they're both in the pro league. 
Why did I think Galatasaray was in the Pro League? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I don't... I Well, yikes. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. One. League Un won't help me. I'm gonna freak out right now. This is how long is it supposed to take someone to do this? Not this long. Marcelo. Wonder. Ha <laughs> SBC brainchild. Too easy, dude. Too easy. All right, here we go. Eight PP. Then we'll get packs. Then we do the roulette. Come, come. Come on. Danny Alves. Awesome. I mean, close enough, right? Pedri is close. <laughs> cool. I was really hoping we'd pack a Danny Alves this week. I don't know if it's going to be possible. Premium gold pack. Jumbo. We can open the jumbos. Premium gold pack I'll just save for opening on stream. I don't know if there's going to be much chance of getting anything good from those. He's losing his touch after too much Tarkov. My SBC abilities are fading away. Yeah, that's okay. We'll we'll uh we'll re rebuild up our SBC abilities, FIFA 23. Um, I mean, it shouldn't matter where I went to college, but I Yeah, I don't know if I even really want to talk too much about that stuff, dude. I don't want people to know too too much about my my life. I think people know enough as it is. Um, but what I would say about college is Obviously, consider going somewhere else other than you, where you live to college. That's number one. Number two, I mean, I couldn't tell you what college to go to because I have no idea what your grades are, what you want to achieve, what your admission status is looking like in terms of how your volunteer hours are looking. There's about a thousand million different factors. But I, I would go somewhere, obviously, that maybe allows you to open your mind in terms of finding out who and what you want to become when you're older. I think your first few years in college should not be what every Middle Eastern family thinks it should be, which is be you being a doctor. I think your first year or two in college should be you discovering who you are and what you, what you are passionate about. Now, you obviously don't want to sit there and light money on fire. So I'm not saying go first year or two in college and you know, take five courses and spend 30 grand and don't do well and fail and everything and waste all that money and party. No, but I mean, yeah, try and have a more open mind in your first year or two through college because you'll find pretty quickly that there's a lot of things you think you didn't like that you will end up liking. There's a lot of things that you really like in high school, but then when you got to take it to the next level in uni and you just end up hating it, there's just a lot of different, uh, different avenues to go that's number one number two i mean you don't need to go to college man the, the, the amount of money that's available in the trades and always has been dude even me going into college uh the the, the trades were always under under serviced and under enrolled if you will bro i'm telling you the few of my friends that went into trades at the same time as i went into college for the first time and you guys all know my story i'm pissed around and almost failed out of medical d dental school if you will and then you know went into accounting floundered there then finally found my feet in business and marketing and whatever but in all of that and then all the 10 years through uni and college and working and side jobs and failing and I, I, my buddies went into the trades dude one of my buddies now a framer in the movie industry the money he makes puts pretty much every streamer you guys think is getting rich to shame so and and he's a framer He's a framer, and, and, and then he's, he's gone into carpenting, and he's gone into specialized work, and he's making crazy money, and he loves it. He works on movie sets all day. It's, it's awesome. It's absolutely awesome. So there, there's so many avenues, man. Uh, you asking me what college you should go to is just, I, I don't think, even the right way to, to start your, your scholastic career, if you will. But thank you for the question. Uh, I appreciate you, Jacoby, and, and I do hope you find your way, man, but you're going to have to find your way. You can't can't leave it to a streamer to help you find your way. I'll give you any advice I can, but... Find your lane and then put your foot down. Yeah. And there's no harm in changing your lane as well. The amount of people that think they... 
especially out of high school into uni, think, okay, I got to do this thing and then I'm doing it the rest of my life. Hell no, man. Most people I know have changed their careers two or three times over. There's no rules. As long as you are responsible, you're taking care of the people that you are responsible for. So that means taking care of yourself, being able to do something which allows you to have a roof over your head. And then you extrapolate that across people you have become responsible for. If it's you're taking care of a parent, if you are, you know, sometimes people have that cross to bear in their life. If you have a wife or a girlfriend, kids now, if you've, you know, gotten that, that wiener wet and, and now... You have children, well, you damn right You damn right, better understand that it's not just you chasing your dreams and making no money. You're going to have to chase your dreams, but work maybe two or three side jobs to make sure your kids are fed, make sure that they are able to go to a good school, etc., etc., right? So, it's a million different ways to go about life. Graduated with an accounting degree, and I'm a project manager. College matters way less than people make a team. For sure. But I also don't want to get to the point where people, you see a lot of people just go down the route of you don't need college. Uh, depending on what industry you're going into and depending on how you want to set your life up, you absolutely do need college. Do you need to spend 50 grand a year in a hoity-toity college that isn't going to change too, too much in terms of your overall career growth? I, I don't think so, but there, there, there's a different argument there as well, right? Because in a lot of the good colleges that you spend a lot of time getting good grades to get into, it's not even the teaching. It's the, what I noticed in the good college I got into, it's not, I, I didn't notice anything different than later on when I went to a different college and a different uni. What I noticed from the hoity-toity school that I originated in is the personnel there. The people you get to know in these top-end colleges is the advantage. Because those are friendships and connections you build through your scholastic career and then when you graduate down the road you might end up in the same department as a guy that you worked with and he's the head of the department or the dad's the head of the it's all about who you know through those colleges right um so long-winded story short college is good getting good grades is good uh, networking is good all of that has a positive it's not the be-all end-all you can still greatly succeed without any of the things i just mentioned but that stuff is good, depending on what you're trying to do. Uh, if you're unsure where to go, community college, then transferring doesn't hurt. Absolutely. I did community college for a couple of summers just to get a couple of different grades up that, that I wanted as well. Sometimes you screw up a little bit, right? There's no, there's no harm or shame in that. I agree. It's not what you know, it's who you know. Yeah, to some extent, right? And you can't take that to an extreme either because absolutely what you know counts for a lot too. That's, uh, life is confusing, man, for sure. For sure. Been at my college for two years and haven't been there in person yet. Yeah, I mean, COVID has made that the, the whole discussion I'm having totally different as well for you guys. I get it. My brother and sister are in the same, are in the same boat. My brother just got a, uh, a D1 football scholarship as well. Um, and even now he's... He's maybe on the lucky end of it. So when he goes to uni uh, at the school, um, he should it should be full-time in the school. But my sister got a, a scholastic scholarship to a uni. And in the first term, she wasn't even able to go to the, the, the uni itself. It was all from home. And spending all this money to just be taught from a laptop is ridiculous. So yeah, I, I feel for you guys, man. You guys that are, that are going through high school and uni right now have it even harder than I had it and 10 times harder than your parents had it. Don't let your parents try and tell you that, oh, what they did was harder. It fucking wasn't. Sorry to burst your mom or your dad's bubble that try and make you think that what they had to go through as kids was harder than you. Yeah, oh, 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 so sorry, dad. So sorry that, you know, you had to walk to school and then you worked at a, at a, at a side job in a construction site and three days later you were able to buy a house for $12. Yeah, cool. I'll, be, I'll have to work 20 hours a day for the next 40 years and I won't even be able to order, a, a, buy a quarter of a house. Oh my God, you had it so tough. You know, you, you bought a 69 Mustang for $300 and now it's worth $500,000. Whoa, tough. So all those oldies out there that try and preach to you kids out there that they had it tough, listen to them, be respectful of your elders, but at least in your head, you can roll your eyes and be like, all right, man, all right. Yeah, yeah, it was real tough for you. Always listen to the oldies, right? But you gotta be a little bit... 
a little bit uh, more critical in your thinking because I, I think people get set in their ways. I'm the same, dude. I I'll, I'll say sh stuff to my kids as well about, oh, I had to do this and I had to do that. I'm like, and then I catch myself. I'm like, what am I doing, man? I sound like my grandparents. I sound like my 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 parents. Like, what am I? I'm doing the same. I'm I'm lecturing my kids the same way that I got lectured. And even when I was a kid, I would roll my eyes at my parents. And now I'm doing it again too. It's hard to reset yourself to uh to to, to think differently than the way you're brought up. <clears throat> well, these packs ain't going well. I'm kind of looking forward to this uh roulette pack. This is not working for us right now, buds. All right, let's open one or two more good packs, and then let's do the roulette. I think we got a 50k. We got a rare mega. Let's boop some of these. Where is it? Rare player and rare mega. So let's do the rare mega. That was from last week's foot birthday gameplay challenge. Cool. Nothing. All right. So lucky owning a house at 26. Yeah, I saw someone quote tweeting, you're owning. I mean, owning is a subjective thing, right? Owning your house at 26. I mean, if you're if you're working towards ownership with a mortgage, that's great. But it's totally different than owning it. Owning is something else entirely, isn't it? The bank owns most of it, which is the most scary thing. Anyways, let's open a 50K. Awesome. These packs are just fantastic. El Toro, thank you for the gifted sub to E-Waters. I swear to God, E-Waters has had a gifted sub every single week of his 15 months. Every single month of his 15 months. I can almost guarantee it. Playing FIFA gameplay is hard work. Yeah, and again, right? Because I know we've got some oldies as viewers on the channel. I'm sure they're th sitting there thinking, yeah, well, you've got it pretty damn good now. You're able to be on the internet, have ever all the information on your fingertips. Yes, 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 you are correct. Absolutely. We are very fortunate in many, many, many ways as well currently, right? The young bucks out there right now definitely have a lot of things that are advantageous over the oldies, but it goes the other way too, doesn't it? Resilient, thank you for the 39. All right, I'm giving up. Let's uh, let's open this roulette pack. This is ridiculous. I'm chasing this birthday Danny Alba. It's just not happening. Okay, 85. So we'll do this one first, right? 85 and an inform. Here we go. Let's see. Or, uh, yeah. Bunch of eighty fours and like uh and, and an eighty eight should do it. Leave. Is it La Liga or Bundesliga? What do we put in here? Many Bundesliga and La Liga. Sorry, as many Bundesliga and Prems as I can. Okay. An eighty four Navas. What do we need to replace him with? R9? Okay, R9 works. Dino? Dino works. Okay. Right. Um, Blanc? Blanc works. Berbache Ber works. Sangare does not work. So it's got to be an 88. Okay. Okay. We'll do Jury. And I don't think this is going to be too terrible to get him, right? This I should do it. Doesn't do it. Just kidding. 85. Nice! And we just have one more 85. Moments Maradona slightly made the game more enjoyable. That's good. That's good. I mean, I for a very long time... I, 
beyond the first three to four weeks of the game for FIFA 22, in my opinion, the game sucked. And that, that so we're talking basically by mid-October, EA ruined FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. However, from mid-October, where the game and the servers were dog shit, the meta was dog shit, I still very much enjoyed the game all the way until Team of the Year. Why was that? Johan Cruyff. That's the, that's the only reason. So I can totally understand why some of you guys are like, oh man, Nick, you should try it, get a, get a player and make you really enjoy the game or at least appreciate the game again. And you're right. But that I, I, I did that for three months of the game being terrible, man. From October all the way to January, the game was awful. Probably not as terrible as it is now, but it was still pretty bad. Pretty, pretty, pretty bad. Okay, so... Oh, a few more. Oh. Oh. Messy work? Okay, so messy works. A few more nine would work then. Does Cruyff work? Cruyff works. Helen? Does Helen work? Yep. Okay. Sanchez. Ooh, so it's got to be a 90, huh? It's got to be a 90. Okay. Uh, well then let's do this real quick. Do maybe a 288s or 287s instead. Him. Do. Amara? Amara works. Essentially an 86 works. No, so an 86 doesn't work. It has to be 287s. Amara. Ah. 70 chem is going to be. I don't even know if possible, but we'll try. What other... What other Prem players we got? We should be able to still fit some 83s. These 83s are even useful. SP, Deuce, Bones, Matip would be another good one. Allen could be good. Menez. Tony Rudiger. What's on him Oh, wait, we lost a little bit more chem. Wait, hold on. Who did I just take out? We lost the 85 rating. What did I just take out here? Oh, okay. Okay, that's fine. Let's see what we got in... Seria. That's usable. We can get rid of. We got switched to Juve. I forgot about that. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do we just eat this, boys? Call it a day? What do you guys think? I feel like we can just... Oh, never mind. Let's just do that then. That works out. All right.
Roulette time, boys! Let's go! Uh, well, roulette time unless it doesn't, if it doesn't show up. If it shows up, I wouldn't mind just opening this, honestly. The 81 plus pack, in my opinion, is a huge scam. I don't know if I would do it if, we, if I was you guys. Well, let's do a prime icon pack and just see, well... Is it going to be there? No. Okay. Well, I, for those of you guys that enjoy roulette, we will have to do roulette. Here we go. So I'm going to log in to the web app. Good stuff. I feel like it's been ages since we've done a roulette. So maybe there's a prime Cruyff in here for us. And it's, uh, what is it? It's control. No, shoot. Alt. How do I close the page again? Oh, I'm such a boomer. How do you close the page again as the pack opens? Alt F4? No, oh my god, it's not Alt F4. What is it? Shift 4? Boys, what is it again? How do you close the tab? Control W. <laughs> I am such a boomer! Right. Oh wow, we got a lot of good packs still to get through, man. That's crazy. So many 50Ks, but for some reason they don't show up. Okay, Prime Icon Pack. Control W. There we go. We're back in it. We are back in it. I'm going to... Forgot about that Dybala too. Jaden Sancho got added yesterday. And uh, Rebic. And Lamer. They all look kind of ass. Jaden Sancho, 5-star, five 5-star five is, of course, pretty good. Okay, here we go. Let me uh, block the screen. So it's X and then RT, right? We're going to click X. Wait a second or two. Let it marinate. Let it marinate. Let it marinate. Let it marinate. And then RT. Okay, here we go, boys. Is it going to be a dupe and ruin everything? No, it is not a dupe. Okay, that's good. That is good. So we go over to transfers. We go to our transfer list. Okay. Um, country. Let's do it. Please, God, don't let it be Ryan Giggs. Thank you. Uh, Forza Ukraine. Oh, no. Man, I was so, so sad listening to that interview with Shevchenko on Sky Sports, man. Heartbreaking. Why can't we all live in peace, man? It's 2022. What are we doing? My God. Pathetic. Nice, nice. Uh, um, Spain. Top 9 Nation. Serbia. Nothing in Serbia. Scotland. Let's just see. Do we get a prime King Kenny? Nope. Scotland is not it. Okay. Uh, Russia. Oh God. Okay. Romania. Good. Republic of Ireland. Okay. Thank you, Jesus Cristo. Wasn't keen. Portugal, top nine nation. Let's see if we got JJ. Okay, we didn't get JJ. We gotta just look at Georgie Best. I can't wait. Oh, it's all right. We got the Cookstown Cafu. That's fine. It's good enough for me. Mexico. Oh, oh, damn. Who is it? Who is it gonna be? Netherlands. Okay. Hungary would be nuts. Would it bring me back to the game? Probably not. Japan? Oh, God. Nope. Not Japan. Ivory Coast. Prime DDA? I don't even know if he'd be good or not. Hungary! Come on! Oh, it's never Hungary. Ghana. Prime Essien. I don't even know if Prime Essien is the good one. His baby is goaded. Oh, God, no. Please not Denmark or Finland. Thank you. Please not Finland. P please, 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 please. I don't want to end the epi on Finland. Please. Yes. Love this. I love it here so much. So England, top nine nation. Uh, France, top nine nation. Germany, top nine nation. Okay. Cameroon would be sex. Imagine a prime Sammy. Ah. Oh! I'd have too many good strikers at that point, though. Okay, this is going to be pain. 
No, good, 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 good. Croatia. How many times have you packed Divorce Sucre already? I did not want that to happen again. Bulgaria would not be that exciting, I gotta be honest. Okay. Are we are we top nine nations? Did I miss any of the other nations? Okay. I'll take a prime Diego Armando Maradona. Never mind. It's this. False alarm. False alarm. False alarm. Imagine a prime Dino or imagine a prime R9. <laughs> Everybody would hate it here. All right. Are you ready? So we're doing four $250 giveaways uh, for the subs right now, right? All you have to do is put money in the chat if you're a sub. If this is an R9 or a Dino, I will add two more $250 giveaways. So instead of $1,000 in giveaways for the subs, we'll do $1,500, okay? Because that would just be ridiculous to get an R9 or a Dino. Okay, I don't think there... My God, look at my Brazilian setup, dude. That we've had forever, that we've had forever. Well, not forever, but that we've had, had. Okay, it's not Brazil. Money saved, boys. Money saved. Um. Oh, God. Prime Rio would be kind of fire. Other than that, I don't think I'd be that excited, though. Okay, no England. France. Imagine a Prime Vieira or a Prime Cantona. Oh, God. Here we go. Nobody. Oh, damn, France is looking good too. Okay. Prime Lothar? Prime Lothar would be spicy. His moment. Yeah, have you guys seen Moments Lothar? He looks he looks like a cheat code. Anyways. I L H I love it here. Oh my god, dude, we spent 20 minutes to get to that. I love you guys. I guess we'll catch you on the flip side tomorrow. Peace.